County and four of its five unions reach a deal to avoid massive layoffs. Good evening, I'm Michelle Imperato. And I'm Richard Rose. After six weeks of on and off again negotiations, county leaders reached an agreement with the police unions today and also the county's largest civilian union to save the county $43 million. For weeks, Nassau legislators have been met with protest signs whenever they've tried to take up the budget. County Executive Tom Swasey says the compromise involves two-week delays in payroll and not filling open positions, but he is still negotiating with the corrections officers. Four of the five unions have reached agreement with the county or an arbitration award. We have 43 out of the $50 million in savings we need. Most of the savings this year is coming from what's known as a lag payroll and a reduction of the workforce as well as the deferral of some raises. Next year, the uh, lion's share of the savings will come from a permanent reduction of the workforce. 100 less police officers, bringing it down to 2550, uh, and about 300 less CSEA workers, civil service workers. I don't think we'll be done in a day, I'm being honest. Uh, it's going to take a little more time, but uh, I, I'm just hoping that we progress. Uh, 11 legislators, it's bipartisan, actually voted for 20 six days to give to the county executive in the event he needs to actually close our county agencies. Now the deal must still be ratified by the unions. It passed the legislature today 11 to 8 with one Republican voting for it, Michelle. 11 continues. Nassau County's largest union called for change today, claiming the future of Nassau University Medical Center is grim. The hospital is reportedly facing a $34.2 million deficit and is considering laying off hundreds of employees. CSEA says the county should either take back control of the hospital, regulate spending, or make a special taxing district to create a new revenue stream for the facility. The union is accusing the hospital of wasteful spending and overpaying top administrators while the employees...